Hi everybody! Uh, I just got back from the Brimfield Flea Market. I decided that I would go opening day. I've, this is the first year I actually went on the first day. I did not expect it to be as crazy packed as it was. We waited in traffic for a good half hour just to get parking. We ended up having to get parking where we paid. It was five dollars, so that wasn't too bad. My friend drove, so I paid for the parking. But that's not what I, I'm here to talk about. Um, I spent uh, about two hours going through the mart. I didn't even get through half of it. Um, that's what the rest of the week is for, I guess, even though I double over the same areas every time I go. I found some really great stuff. I ended up spending, I think, only $16. And not counting the bag of kettle corn I spent five dollars on. That was delicious and worth it. I will be eating for the rest of the week. And the five dollar parking. Uh, first thing I picked up was a Shangri-La's 45. I love me a good girl group. It was a dollar and it was, I felt like things were going really slow. I, I was there for like a half hour and hadn't found anything I wanted. So I had picked that up. I really like, it doesn't have any scratches or anything. It's too damaged. Um, I stopped by one of my favorite booths. Beck got me turned on to this booth. There are people that sell a whole bunch of dish and glassware, and they also use Blue Heaven, which is the dish that she and I collect, as their daily house plates. And they gave me the paper on the set and what all the pieces are. And they yelled at me for not having a list of what I have and don't have. So next time I go back to their booth, I better have one. But Becca's making one out because it's all at her house now. Mine's all boxed up and it's on our kitchen table. Um, but we have a lot of good stuff with that. So I just got, I just got to fill the cracks with them. And I seem like good people. And they, I think they're going to give us deals on what we need. Uh, I went to another booth a few down from them. And a woman had a whole bunch of vintage patterns. I thought I was going to have to pay an arm and a leg for all of them. But it ended up working out that they were $2 each. And then she did... Oh, crap. She did three for five dollars. Um, so I picked up two patterns to make sure it's for Beck with. They're both um, in her waist size. Bust size, busting I have to take in a bit. But I really like them. Um, this dress is phenomenal. So I can't wait to make that one for her. Lots of good outfits for the summer. And then I found this pattern. Actually, I didn't find this one. My friend that I went with found this one for me. A good shirt and short pattern for guys. I might make a uh, swim set out of it. I because Ariane, one of my friends, just gave me this really awesome kind of seersuckery fabric. But the pattern on it is really funny and nautical. So she gave me this and I cleaned it up and I think I might make a swim set out of it, but kind of like a seersucker, so I have to I have to find some sort of backing. I'm not sure what to use. Um, but the best thing I found today was, actually, I don't know if those patterns were the best thing, because that's a really good shirt pattern. I'm a big fan of it. But I went through this one booth, and Kenzie and I looked through all the dresses. Kenzie is my friend that I went with. Um, we looked through all the dresses at all these different booths, and we couldn't find anything good or affordable and good. Um, so I, we went into this one, and I found this dress, and it was $10. There's a whole bunch of staining. Actually, not a whole bunch. There's just a couple stains. I don't know if you can see those. That's a really nice fit dress, and it's Beck's waist size. So I decided I'd pick it up. It was $10. It's really a great dress, but it's missing the belt and the stains. Are pretty substantial so I am going to take my black writ dye to it. Uh, the woman told me the fabric that it's made out of should take the dye. If she's doing me wrong I will find her, hunt her down and slap her throat. Um, so yeah that's going to be one of my projects. I don't think I'm going to the flea market tomorrow but who knows after only spending like $16 at the actual flea market I might have to go back tomorrow. I think I'm signing myself out of school on Thursday to leave 
and go with my boss um, for my job job. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for today. That's what I found. Um, I will do a video blog tomorrow if people like these. No one's commented on the Retro File blog on them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll go over my sewing patterns. I think I'm going to head to Joanne's n now and buy some fabric to use that pattern I just got myself with. So, 